Okay, in this video, we're gonna go over how you're supposed to make make a data table in, Go in Google Sheets and then graph your data from that data table. So the very first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna need to open up your spreadsheet that corresponds with your experiment and you should be able to find your name down at the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna work here in the example tab um, since that's my, my tab to work with. And the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your notebook and you're gonna look at, at page or, or slide 14 in your electronic notebook and that should have your data um, that you collected during your experiment. Okay, so I am just gonna paste my data in there. One thing um, I wanna mention is that you make sure you don't have any units in here. These should all be just numbers and decimal numbers. Okay, so if you measure something in feet and inches, you're gonna have to turn that into just inches or just feet. Okay, and just put a number in there without the units. The units are up in the top, so you're gonna have to go, go double click in the top and change when when you get this it'll just be blank you need to add what units you had for each of your or for your independent variable and for your dependent variable these units should match because this column is just the average of the five trials for each condition that you tested okay once you've done that you're going to click in a cell outside of your data table and you are going to insert a chart okay when you insert a chart the computer doesn't know what data you want to graph, so it just says no data. But here is your graph. You can, let's say you open it up and you don't see this editor in the side, you can either double click on your graph to get it, or you can click on your, on your chart here and go to the three dots and edit the chart. Okay? The very first thing you want to do, you do not want a column chart or a pie chart or a bar chart. You want a scatter plot, so you're going to have to scroll down a little bit and you click on your scatter plot. Okay, once you click on scatter plot, you're gonna wanna add your values that you want on the x-axis. For us, in your data table, that is gonna be the stretch length in this, in this example, or whatever is over in your far left column. Okay, so the way I did that, I just click on add x-axis, it pops up, it says select a data range. I'm gonna put my cursor in there, and I'm gonna click and hold, just click once, hold, and drag down and then it will say okay in the example sheet which is the the sheet I'm in on this I want cells a1 through a5 so that a1 through a5 is going to be my x-axis data or the the points that get plotted on the on the x-axis okay don't click this aggregate you don't want that and then you want to add a series series is talking about what you want plotted on the y-axis so click on series and then you're going to have to click this little window over here to select a data range okay so click on add series that'll pop up you want this little window and you are going to click in here just one time and then click and hold and drag this down until this says example or it'll say your name with an exclamation mark and then g1 colon g5 that means that this is the data that i want and then you're going to press ok Okay, once you do that, it pops up with a graph. So the nice thing about this is that it's made, it's kind of made the graph for you. Okay, however, the graph is not complete. Okay, there's no heading, there's no title, there's no labels on the axes. So in order to create that, you're going to have to go to customize. Okay, under customize, you have quite a few options. The one I want to draw your attention to is the chart and axis titles. So if you click on chart and axis titles, that will allow you to add a title to your chart. Okay, so I can add a chart title. Okay, so let's say for this one, it would be the effect of stretch in a rubber band on, uh, on the distance the rubber band travels when it is let go okay so the effect of the stretch in a rubber band on the distance the rubber band travels when it is let go so that's a nice descriptive title there it's kind of long but it allows whoever's looking at my graph to know exactly what I was testing okay next I'm gonna click here where the green text is and I'm gonna change to horizontal axis title well my horizontal axis title is just gonna be the same as what I've as, as right here in my data table. So that is going to be um, stretch length. 
in centimeters. Okay, and then I'm going to go and I'm going to get my vertical axis title and I'm going to make that my, um, that's going to be labeled with average distance traveled. Or I could just put distance traveled. Distance traveled in meters. And I definitely want my units on both of these. So you see I have centimeters in parentheses and meters in parentheses. Okay, and then if your data looks like it could have a linear fit, you can go and add a trend line. Okay, so if you want to add a trend line, so here in this case, I see that this, this pretty much lines up, it looks like a line. So I'm gonna try to add a trend line. To do that, I go to series, okay? And I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and I'll see this option for a trend line. Okay, when I click that, that gives me my trend line. Okay, and then I can even have a label on my trend line that gives me the equation of that trend line, okay? If you do not like, so so on my graph here, my, my axis does not start at zero, that is okay. But if I wanted it to, I could go into um, my horizontal axis is the one that I want to change. And I could give it a min, minimum value of zero and a maximum value of eight, let's say. Okay, and then I get my, my uh, x axis goes from zero to eight. Okay, so if you would like, you, you, you can adjust that if you want, you do not have to. Okay, you can leave it with the default of whatever um, the uh, Google Sheets gives you. Last thing you need to do is once you have this set up, you can go and only add the, one thing I do wanna say, only add the trend line if your data looks linear. If it doesn't look linear, you're not gonna add the trend line and, and the equation of the line. Okay, last thing you need to do, go to the three dots and you're gonna copy your chart Okay, and then take it into either your lab report or um, it also needs to go into slide 16 in your e-notebook.